Hello there, wonderful Wilder YouTube. It's your girl Swimster Gal coming at you guys with a Ferris Wheel Press haul. Now, quick disclosure, some of these items were gifted to me. I'm going to go ahead and say which ones they are once we come across them. Um, but I did purchase some of them on my own. We're going to go ahead and get started with the ones I purchased on my own. Um, one of the ones I purchased on my own is the Workshop Wishes. This one is a... I'm gonna say like a like a Pinocchio inspired ink. It is brown. Most of these are all water based. This one has a shimmer. Um, has a beige undertone. It doesn't have any uh, sheen. The shimmer color is silver, and the shading quality is high. And as always, honestly, my, one of my favorite parts about Ferris Wheel Press is their packaging. It's just like absolutely stunning. Like stunning. I got mine in the 20 milliliter bottle. Give them a good shake. And as you guys can see, there's like a lot of shimmer in there. Uh, if you're going to put this in your pen, it would be kind of like why I do it like nail polish where you kind of roll it in between your, your hands. Just so that you avoid all those air bubbles. That way when you're like putting ink into your pen, you're getting more ink than you are air bubbles. Uh, just for the simple purpose of the video so we can kind of see like the shimmering action. I'm just giving it a quick shake. So beautiful. We're going to swatch all of these afterwards. Or I might just do a little, you know what, maybe as I show you guys these up close, I'll do a little card here like a little insert where you guys can see the actual swatch of it but look at that my camera is definitely not doing the shimmer in this justice but when i tell you y'all this bottle right here is a beautiful and don't be fooled like the size 20 milliliters might not sound like a lot or look like a lot in comparison to like a lot of other fountain pennings but they last a good while like i don't think i've run out of any of these inks that I've purchased from them so far. The other thing I purchased was the various will, um, the ink charger set. So what charger sets are, are basically like just like sets of collections in like the five milliliter ink vial. So kind of like a tester. I was not expecting such neat packaging. Like if you open it, it's like a magnetic clasp. I was expecting like a little box with the ink charger sets, which is what the packaging they used to have and is a packaging pictured online. But wow, look at this. Very stiff. Honestly, I could probably put in like uh, Q-tips or something in here to use to swatch the boxes, assuming if I don't decide to keep the ink itself in there. Uh, the one I got was the one of the newest release that they have. Wow. Does it have the name on it? Oh yeah, the New York, New York collection. So one of them is this color, which says, please use creativity. Please use creatively, okay. Oh, I don't know the name of it, but uh, that's the uh, basically the initials for it. Let me see, are they in here? I wish they did have the colors, but uh, I'll have these linked down below with the names down below and I'll also put the names somewhere on the screen so that you guys can see them but like look at this one the camera is capturing the shimmer on this one a lot better than it was on the previous one like that is just so stunning and again it's like a silver shimmer and as opposed to just getting like three of the full size containers of these. I just got the charger set so I can kind of like swatch it. If I fall in love with the color, I can always go back and purchase it. And this is where we're probably going to insert a shameless self promo. With code SWIM, you can actually get a free charger set with your purchase. So long as you're purchasing something of a regular size, so like this, like kind of like one of these, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So basically, like a full sized ink or any of their notepads or notebooks or any of their like fountain pens uh the ones i believe that like you know things that will won't go with the code would be like if you guys are buying like their refills or like the smaller sets i believe but again all that information will be down below but again code swim can get you these for free with your purchase 
Generally, these retail for around $15, as in the set retail for $15, so you'd be saving $15 on your order, and you get to try different colors, which is awesome. Trust me, once you try one ink, you're going to be addicted. I have, like, a whole collection of these, which I can do a whole entire different video on, but this other one, moving on, which is the one that's CPG, I believe this is, like, the one that's a muted green. This one doesn't have any shimmer in it. It'll be interesting to see once I swatch it if it has any sheening, but again, we'll put the swatches over here so that you guys can see them side by side. Like, it looks like a moss green, but like a deep moss green, if that makes any sense. And then we have a pink color, which is like kind of like a magenta. When I look at it in the bottle, it kind of reminds me of the Pilot Irishiziko ink. I'm pretty sure I'm bashing that name, um, which is like Yamabuda, which is like a magenta. But this one's like a pink. It's a funny lob. L-O-B. But this one is really nice, honestly. Look at that. <laughs> now, do keep in mind that each of these um, fountain pen inks, which is similar to every ink, will display differently on different types of paper. When I show the swatches, whether I put them on like next to the inks themselves or we swatch them together at the end, I'm going to be using Tomoe or Tomoe rubber paper just because you get the best, like you can actually see what your inks are made of on Tomoe rubber paper. So the sheen, the glitter, the sparkles will look stunning. And I mean absolutely stunning. So now we're going to move on to the three items I was gifted. One of them is this, um, but how much size is this one? Well, this is a really big ink. This is the one in Wonderland in Coral. F this is probably, oh yeah, from the Fall in Love with, uh, with Writing again. And this is 85 milliliters of ink. Wow, this is actually really nice. And like I said before, all of Ferris Wheel Press's um, packaging is stunning. And most of it, if not all of it, has like, or how would I say, is unique to the ink itself. Wow, like you even have a little coating here, which this one says, I don't think you can see it on my camera, but it says the whimsical sight sounds in nostalgia of the carnival dance with the ratatat of a traditional pink shot. Honestly, it feels like magic. That's a big boy or a big girl, whatever. And it's so cute. It comes with this like this little velvet pouch to keep it safe. And it says fall in love with writing again. Ferris will press. I'm telling you, their packaging is A1. Wow. 85 millimeters. So this is a coral color which I don't know what kind of glitter it is it looks like it's like rose gold glitter but my guess is probably gonna be that it's like orange fine milk pigment with a bit of silver in it we're gonna see a little bit better once we swatch it it's so fascinating like just to see all those colors swirling around in there wow I'm like it's amazing <laughs> I could do this all day but we're not gonna do this all day Wow, we all right. Let's set this bad boy aside. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep at least for the Ferris wheel press inks, I do keep all the packaging of these just because, like I said, it's stunning. This is a another ink. This is um Royal Rhubarb, which is like a magenta color. This is also an 85 milliliter ink. Now, I will note that this is a little bit um, different in packaging. Does this one actually have it at the bottom actually, before I say anything? No, it doesn't. Uh, unlike this little, um, this packaging where it kind of gives you like the base color, the um, characteristics of the inks, these don't have it. So the last two that I showed you, which are these two, they don't have that, but the packaging itself is like sturdy like if you like it's 
thick like if I wanted to put like pencils or like I said q-tips or something in here this will definitely hold it without like risk of it collapsing on me again this one also comes with like a little red velvet covering I'm kind of curious now and I'm gonna probably next time I put in an order when I buy a full-sized one I went I wonder if all the 85 milliliter inks come with the like the velvet little pouch which you can use as a little coin purse it's really cute like it's, it's really soft like real soft you can just keep your ink safe on the go from scratches it'll be interesting to see i wonder if they all come with this because they're 85 milliliters or just because they come in this specific packaging and it just helps keep the ink safe wow so this one's gonna be my guess is gonna be like a burgundy color like a pink burgundy Wow, this is so nice and unlike the little baby ones they don't have a label at the bottom that indicate the color of the ink so you would have to figure out a way to like you know label it yourself because again these ones at least have the little sticker at the bottom with the initials so so long as you know like the name of the product you can kind of go based off of the initials fairly easily like if i throw the packaging away of these and i just kind of don't ever write it down i more than likely will forget what the name of this color is but like i said i'm gonna keep them i'm gonna hoard these boxes maybe try to find different functions for them and we're gonna go from there now i will say this really quickly i believe these are already available in shop to purchase um, I'll have the links for those readily available for you down below as long uh, as well with all the information regarding my little bit of a coupon code but the one I'm about to show you this is gonna be a new release so this is a limited edition one which is called the fluttering heart this is the release that they're gonna be doing on March 3rd if I'm not mistaken some items are gonna go up for pre-sale so pre-order on March 3rd and other items will be live directly um, something I saw that I got a glimpse of was the Ferris Wheel Press, like, ink bottle holder. Um, I'm pretty sure it's made out of, like, stainless steel colored in gold. Last I checked, that one's going to retail for about $40, but am I going to go back and purchase it? You best believe I am. It is so cute. It is basically, like, the Eiffel Tower. If I can find an image, I'll put it up here. But it's basically the Eiffel Tower, and you can just, like, rest it there, and it's so pretty. Uh, this one also has like the Ferris wheel press, fountain pen inks are water based, compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens, used for your next stroke of genius. And what I really like about these, or like Ferris wheel press in general, oh, like I said, aside from the packaging, which as you can see is clearly stunning, is that I saw, I see a lot of people using these for painting, like using them like kind of like watercolors. And I tried that in my last bullet journal. So for those of you guys that saw the setup, which I hope most of you guys did, for those of you guys that didn't, I'll, get, I'll have that link down below. They work really well. Just to add kind of like that little extra pizzazz, especially if you're using like the sheeny or their shimmer inks, is out of this world. Now with these bigger bottles, uh, from the ones I do own, I'll have to double check. But I think other than this one or like their limited edition shades they're pretty similar to the wording style of this like the other ones but this one looks so cool so let me get you guys a little bit closer or maybe let me zoom y'all in maybe it'll make it easier to focus in but look at that detail and what i like about these is that you have like at least the base color of the ink on the sticker in the back so if you want to see this but you want to kind of like get an idea of what color it is in there you can just turn it to the side but you, what i'm going to do and you'll probably see in a later video is i'm going to put color in here just so i can look over top of it and then know what color i want to use but this one's called the fluttering heart such a beautiful color it's like kind of like a champagne shimmer in there and the crazy thing is, is I haven't even shaken it and it's not like settling down like it was with the other inks. My apologies, let me zoom you guys out because I keep going out of frame. But yes, this one is not like the other inks. The shimmer itself isn't really settling and if it is, it kind of really moves very easily with the bottle. As you can see there, I haven't, I haven't had the, to shake it 
like I did the other ones. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow. I'm at a loss for words for this one, especially because pink is like my favorite like ink color. Fun fact, my very first ink was a hot pink color. So I still own it. I still own it. I still have it. Let me see if I can find it. No, but I bought it off of Amazon when I bought my first fountain pen. And pink just has a very special place in my heart when it comes to these. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more, comment if there's any videos you guys like to watch. Like, for example, my Ferris Will Press um, Fountain Ink Collection. I'll be more than gladly to do a swatch video of all the shades I currently have. And then possibly would have even more. Ex like I said, I do plan on putting in a purchase on the March 3rd when that... Um, fountain pen or a fountain pen fountain ink, fountain pen ink little stand comes out